What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. Welcome to NFL Silly Season here, because you're going to hear all kinds of shit. Some of it might actually be legitimate. Some of it's going to be quite, frankly, bullshit. So, in fact, we can just kind of go... Rumors. I can't take it no more. So I was out walking and my buddy um, Stewart shared with me a tweet about Kyler Murray allegedly meeting with um, management and having basically a set of demands. You know, I, I kind of joked about the whole thing. I'm kind of like, okay, this is crazy. And one of his demands was to play with C.D. Lamb. Now, I had never heard of the guy, Nathan McKinnon, and so on. And it's good to go ahead and try and check your sources. And, and first of all, um, the reality of that is it wouldn't matter if it was real or not. A trade for C.D. Lambs for Hopkins would never happen or take place. It's just not going to happen. But then again, I'd like to know, would you like to see C.D. Lamb traded for DeAndre Hopkins? Before we get into that part of it, let, let's go in here to where all this stuff started, okay? Because this is where it's kind of crazy now. Because basically, Nathan McKinnon has said that uh, Hopkins, that there's a risk between Hopkins and Murray, and that they could, of course, trade with the Cowboys. Now, now we've heard that before because everybody, of course, trades with the Cowboys. That's what we always We all know when somebody wants a new deal or something, the Cowboys come into play. You know it. You know it. I know it. We know it. Because it also stirs up emotions. Because this is one of those cases where there's perception and there's reality. I think of it as the growing up syndrome. When you grew up in your hometown, the things that you remember, all the good stuff, you don't remember the bad stuff. You don't. You only remember all oh, my mama's pies. They were so good or growing up and hanging out with my boys. You don't remember when you got your ass kicked. Okay, you don't remember that kind of stuff. You don't remember that there was a toxic waste plant around the corner stuff. You only remember the good stuff. And this is what happens when players start to get old. You remember when DeAndre Hopkins was playing like gangbusters with the Texans playing lights out was the best wide receiver in football. What you don't remember is that this past year, he was kind of hurt that he only had uh, 572 yards. That was in 10 games. It's only an average of 57 yards. You don't remember that because you remember what happened when he was with the Texans, you know, when he was with, you know, of course, getting, you know, 1,500 yards, you know, in 2018 and 1,100 yards, you know, and uh, and so on. You remember the good stuff. You don't remember where they are now. And so that name rings a bell. And I'm like, oh, man, Hopkins, man, he's the best wide receiver in football because he was at the time when he got traded, but not so much now. He's a guy who's been around since 2013. But anyway, let's go back to where all this stuff started. McKinnon. I know nothing about him. He is a senior NFL insider for One America Sports. Currently on Twitter, he has 126 followers. He's not followed by anybody I know. Okay. All right. So when you start going through his page here, you hear that there's a growing rift in Seattle between Tyler Lockett and DJ Metcalf. DK is angry that Lockett brags about beating him on one one on one in practices. DK is angry that Lockett treats him with little respect and speaks with him with a condescending tone. Okay. And here we get down to just two hours ago. It is very possible, in quotes, that the Cardinals part ways with DeAndre Hopkins in any trade, including, in any trade, including the Dallas Cowboys wide receiver, CeeDee Lamb. 
in any trade, including that's plausible deniability. It's very possible. Well, that means it's also possible that they don't. Right? Okay. So here's where it started out. Yesterday, Cardinals Kyler Murray reportedly had a recent meeting with ownership. He reportedly had one, which he made multiple demands. One of those demands, the Cardinals must land Cowboys C.D. Lamb through a trade. Murray strongly desires playing with his close friend on the same team. Now, C.D. has defended Kyler Murray. The, 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 and they were college teammates. So, I mean, it's plausible that he could say, hey, you know, what's the chance of going out and get CeeDee Lamb? And so on. So that's where we are. And, you know, we, we just go through, and most of it's on the page. is kind of like innuendo and speculation and stuff where you are saying something without really saying something. Does that sound like it makes sense? Because it really doesn't. But while we're here at silly season, because right now it's, you know, of course, silly season. And it's the end of the football season, so we definitely want to have stuff to talk about. The question is, with the Cowboys who are maybe getting rid of C.D. Lamb, excuse me, getting rid of Amari Cooper, do we know if C.D. Lamb can be the number one? And if he's not, would the Cowboys be better suited trading for DeAndre Hopkins? Hmm. I'd like to know what you think. Now, here's why I would say, oh, hell no. Oh, hell mother humping no. It ain't going to happen. No way, no how. Seriously. Seriously. It's none. First of all, oh, I didn't even pull. Wow. I I really messed up because I meant to actually show you. Nathan McKinnon. This was the tweet right here. Kyler Murray reportedly had a recent meeting with ownership in which he made multiple demands. Okay. And, of course, it is very possible. Well, you know, it's very possible that Jerry Jones trades himself for Dan Snyder. It's not likely, but it is possible. Isn't it? It's about as possible as Cowboys trading for Hopkins with CeeDee Lamb. So that's actually where I was trying to, I meant to pop that on there, and I I didn't. So 126 followers. But let's look at his stats, and you'll see that 2020 was a good year, okay? 1,400 yards, 12.2, 6 TDs. This past year, 572, 13.6, 8 TDs. Coming off injury, um getting long in the tooth, and oh, by the way, take a look at this up here. He's due $25 million next year and 27 the following year. So it is very conceivable that the Cardinals would want to move Hopkins. That's not in dispute. And if there is a rip between him and Kyler Murray, more the reason to do it. But the problem for them is if they cut him, this is like the Zeke Elliott syndrome. It's going to cost them $29 million to get rid of him and 25 to keep him. So unless they find a trading partner, then they're stuck with him there. But the Cowboys aren't going to trade for that contract any more than anybody's going to trade for Zeke Elliott's contract. That would be just stupid. So the reality is nobody's going to trade for that. That's crazy. That's an insane number. Not unless uh, the Cardinals eat half of that contract. Nobody's going to do that. No. So that's not going to happen. And why would you trade C.D. Lamb, who still basically has three more years to his contract? He's only finishing his second year. So you've got two more years of the contract, and then you have the fifth-year option. 
You control him for three years at chump change. Why would you go ahead and get an old ass receiver and pay him literally seven times as much per year? So I'm going to give this one, Stu, you've been had, you've been took, you've been flim flammed, run astray, let, let a muck, and this is nothing to all this. And there's no way, no how that the Dallas Cowboys would trade for DeAndre Hopkins. So that's all I got to say about all that. And, um, you know how it is. There's always some crazy shit going on when you're dealing with the Dallas Cowboys. But just remember. I don't often watch Eagle channels. But when I do, I watch Philly 500. So I can buy Are you you're gonna take a quarterback in the second round? Are you kidding me? I, I oh, what do you just trade Carson then? Are you kidding me? You just took over a quarterback in the second round. This team is so good that they don't need to take. I, I, they don't need anything else, right? They're so good they don't. This has to be for 